Hello my darlings and welcome to a very 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 exciting video. Not only is today's video the start of the Fashion Mumbler Autumn Edit, hurrah, but it is also the very first video that I am filming in my brand new dressing room. Oh my goodness, what an absolute treat it is to finally be able to film in here. I'm sure I'll be making tweaks to the place that I'm standing and the lighting and the sound, so do bear with me, but I'm so thrilled to finally be filming in my dream dream space if you're just tuning in i have vlogged the whole process of how we turned this empty loft room into my dream dressing room i'll leave a playlist linked down below if you'd like to see the process but it's absolutely perfect that the first video that i get to film in here is the start of my autumn edit so i've been doing these kind of seasonal edits for maybe four or five years now. It all kicked off one spring afternoon and since then I've been doing these seasonal kind of styling videos to kickstart every single season. So every single day this week there is going to be a brand new video to help you get your wardrobe ready for the new season. There's going to be a mixture of hauls, styling videos, trend videos, all of that kind of good stuff. So if you're not already, please do hit the subscribe button down below so that you don't miss any of these videos and any of my other videos after this as well. I am already shiny. How is this possible? I think I am the shiniest person in the world. I usually do my trend videos a little bit earlier, a little bit kind of pre-season, not literally as the season is starting, but I don't know about you, I've just kind of not been in the mood for trends up until very, very recently. So today I'm really gonna be focusing on the most wearable trends for autumn. There is no point in talking about the trends that are only suitable for the catwalk. These are going to be the trends that we can wear whether we are spending 90% of our time at home, working from home, relaxing at home, or just making those little expeditions out because let's face it, life is different this year. I always like to start with a trend video just so that you can have these trends at the forefront of your mind throughout the rest of the week so that when we're going through hauls and styling videos, you can have these little light bulb moments and be like, ah oh, yes, she's picked that because it ticks that trend or ooh, I recognize that that outfit goes with that trend. So hopefully you'll find it really interesting and useful and chances are you already have so many of these trends already in your wardrobe. So hopefully this video might also help you to pull out things that you purchased years and years ago that might be spot on trend for autumn winter 2020. Okay, let's just get the obvious one out of the way. The first trend for autumn winter 2020 is of course elevated loungewear. We are seeing so many of our favorite designers and premium high street brands bringing out a kind of luxe leisure wear collection and I am here for it. Whether it's really beautiful cashmere jogging bottoms or elevated knitwear that you can just lounge around in in the house, when a trend is comfortable and stylish, it gets a massive tick from me. So I'm absolutely loving this trend of elevated loungewear. We're definitely going to be seeing a lot more loungewear inspired pieces for things that are designed to be worn out of the house as well. So I'm really interested to see some styling options for this elevated loungewear trend. One of my favorite retailers, Reese, they released their Lux Leisure Collection, which is absolutely beautiful if you are looking to invest a little bit more in your loungewear pieces but also the high street has some really beautiful options as well. Topshop have a gorgeous pair of joggers that I tried on in a recent vlog. And then all the way up to the much more premium retailers, for example, Johnson's of Elgin, they have got some absolutely stunning loungewear, things to make you look and feel your absolute best when you are relaxing at home. Trend number two that I am absolutely so thrilled about is the equestrian trend. This is something that we've really seen trickling in over the summer and brands such as Chloe really spring to mind championing this kind of look. So when I say equestrian, it is that kind of horsey look. So we're going to be seeing a little bit more of a kind of riding jacket and jodhpur style outfit, riding boots, in particular flat boots are going to see a major renaissance this autumn winter. I think that where we're all just kind of done with impractical purchases, we want things which we're actually going to be able to get use out of. I think we're all going to be a lot more wise with our investments this year. So practical and stylish things such as flat 
boots or not even necessarily flat but just practical and wearable higher boots are going to be really popular this season styled with equestrian touches such as jodhpur style trousers and i love this because leggings are so comfortable so much more comfortable than jeans we're going to see v-neck jumpers gilets quite a preppy look an equestrian look is really really easy to achieve with just a few key pieces that chances are you already have in your wardrobe so whether it is that legging style trousers and i don't know if you can see my little bottom <laughs> in the reflection there but I'm actually wearing some legging style tri trousers right now pair this with a roll neck jumper and a gilet and you have already nailed that equestrian look for the season if you want to invest in the trend a little bit more, there are some accessories that can help you get the look, such as something like this. This is my Gucci belt from last year. It has the horse bit design on it, which is, of course, very equestrian inspired. But it is one of those trends that doesn't ever really go out of style. So don't be afraid to invest a little bit more in this trend. Trend number three that we're seeing is long cardigans. And I've seen this already from the high street, from brands such as Topshop to the upper high street. One of my favorites is actually from French Connection all the way up to those more premium retailers and once again to mention Johnson's of Elgin they've got the most gorgeous cozy long cardigan these are kind of elevated loungewear in a way a little bit more um, wearable for the outside world but I find them just absolutely fantastic as a trend piece because you literally feel like you're wearing your dressing gown and anything that makes me feel super duper cozy is a winning trend on my books they're a really great way of obviously adding warmth, but also trend points to what could otherwise be a really plain and simple outfit. Trend 3.5, it doesn't really deserve its own category because it's very much related to the last one, but it is wearing cardigans as jumpers. I have already heavily invested in this trend. I say heavily invested. I picked up a few from the high street, because again, it's just so comfy and cozy and looks really, really chic. One of my favorites is this pink one from And Other Stories. This color is just so fun. It really lifts the mood, lifts the spirits, which let's face it, we all could do with a little bit of that this time of the year. Leading on from that, trend number four is knitted dresses. Another one that I'm absolutely thrilled to see because again, it is just so comfortable. That's what I love about the trends this time around. They're all so, so, wearable. I think this year, more than ever, it's the consumer need that has pushed these trends forwards as opposed to what the designer catwalks are telling us to wear. And I am all here for it. Hallelujah for trends that are things that we actually want to wear. So knit dresses, do I even need to explain why they are so fantastic, incredibly comfortable. You can find the most flattering knit dresses and I think the high street does them particularly well. I have already fallen in love with one from H&M this year. I've already got so much wear out of that. Karen Millen have a beautiful one. Topshop have some gorgeous ones. But then of course, because they are really, 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 really wearable and the kind of thing that you're going to want to wear next autumn and autumns and winters for many years to come, it's something that you don't need to be afraid of investing in as well. So stay tuned later on in the week, I'll be showing you some of my favorite, slightly more premium jumper dresses and classic things for an autumnal wardrobe. Trend number five, this is one that I wasn't sure if I'd be able to get away with it until I tried it and I realized that I already love it and it is boxy quilted jackets. I'd invested in this trend without even really realizing it because they are so practical. Living in the countryside now, I am spending a lot more time outside. I'm, I'm naturally reaching for things which are a little bit more utilitarian. And yet the high street has some really beautiful boxy quilted jackets, which are a little bit more sporty, a little bit more preppy. Some of them are even floral, or you can get plain ones in so many different colors. It's one of those trends that is very, very easy to wear and it's the kind of jacket that you can just fling on when you're running your errands. So it's something that you're going to get a lot of wear out of as well. Trend number six. This is a trend that does require a little bit of investment. I know that there are more affordable alternatives, but I think because of its timeless nature, it is one that is worth a little bit of a splurge and it is the shearling trend. I always think a shearling coat done well or a shearling gilet, which you may be able to see in the background, I have already added to my wardrobe this year, is something which is an instant way of completely transforming even a summer outfit into something that's more autumnal. Just yesterday, I was wearing a floral dress, which would have been a perfect summer outfit with sandals, but I paired it with boots and a shearling gilet and instantly, 
autumnal. It's a big trend this year, yes, but when I think back to autumns and winters of years gone by, you would never ever look out of place or unstylish wearing a shearling jacket or a shearling gilet. So again, this is one that I would not be afraid to invest in. I wasn't quite sure how to title this next trend, so I'm just going to explain it. It is volume sleeves and interesting necklines. Okay, that's more punchy than I, just, than I thought. I have a feeling this trend might be the Zoom effect, where we've been spending so much of our time socializing with people from the waist up. For all you guys know, I could be wearing no trousers right now. I mean, I've already showed you my bottom in the reflection, but <laughs> I think that interesting details on the top of our outfits is going to be a trend that we see continuing as long as Corona is around, that is for sure. But I absolutely love it and I'm wearing it right now. A voluminous sleeve is a trend which is surprisingly wearable. You might think, oh my gosh, I could never pull that off. Just try it. You might be surprised at how wearable this trend is, especially when you pair it with something that is already very comfortable and very true to your style, such as a piece of knitwear. I also am loving interesting necklines this year. This one is not crazy interesting, but it's a little bit more unusual. It's kind of a mix between a scoop neck and a V-neck and that really nice angular kind of square neck that we're seeing, which I think is a little bit um, almost Tudor style. I absolutely love it. But then we're seeing so many lovely details up at the top, such as frills on the sleeves, we're seeing some incredible cable knits, we're seeing puff sleeves, we're seeing volume sleeves. Basically, keeping your upper part of your outfit interesting makes you on trend for autumn 2020. Trend number seven, another one that I'm absolutely thrilled about, is the preppy trend. So we've already spoken about the equestrian style and the boxy jackets, both of which come under this preppy trend, but we're seeing it in so many ways, such as plaid, headbands, gilets, v-necks, and something that I've not yet experimented with, but I'm quite tempted to, is the knitted sweater vest. Not something I ever, ever thought that I would really add to my wardrobe, but I keep seeing people wearing them and they look so good. Whether it's a cable knit or a kind of lattice detail vest um, with a collar poking out or over a roll neck, I think Chloe have done one that looks really, really gorgeous, but the high street is getting on this trend very quick as well. I've seen some lovely styles in Mango, in Zara, and you know if they're doing it, that it's on trend this season. And I think a preppy style is one which used to be quite restrictive, only more kind of girly characters would wear it, whereas now I think we're seeing preppy vibes infiltrating so many different wardrobes. Number nine, another one which is really, really easy to integrate into your wardrobe, and I'm sure 99% of you already have it in your wardrobe, and it is ribbed knitwear. So the top that springs to mind is actually an expensive one from Kate, but there are so many high street alternatives and I think they are so flattering. This has taken a little bit of time to really become more of a mainstream trend, but in particular, this top from And Other Stories is just absolutely ticking all the boxes. Interesting neckline, gorgeous autumnal color, and this ribbed material. So it's a trend that you can buy into without spending a huge amount of money this year. Great again for being super comfortable, but also fabulous if you are going back to the office, back to work. It's one of those things that is surprisingly wearable and we do love a wearable trend. And finally, trend number 10, and I think it's kind of obvious by now, given all of the different examples that I've showed you, is of course the colour brown. And I know it's like saying florals in spring, groundbreaking. But this year, more than ever, we are seeing so many browns in our autumn wardrobe. And I hope you don't think this is a bit of a cheat using this as the last trend. But I have to say, I have been affected by this. I've never loved brown that much before. I've never invested in it aside from accessories um, and maybe outerwear. Like, I would never have chosen a dark brown piece of knitwear before, but this year, I'm just really feeling the brown vibes. Whether we're going for a slightly warmer kind of rusty tone or a woody brown like this, doesn't sound that exciting, but it's one of those things that once you try it, you think, oh my gosh, so wearable, and it's just an instant way of updating your wardrobe for autumn. So my darlings, those are my top 10 most wearable autumnal trends for 2020. I really hope you enjoyed listening through these with me. Keep an eye out on the rest of the videos this week. You'll be seeing so many options, how to wear these trends, how to get the look for less, hauls from so many of our favorite retailers with pieces that tick these trend boxes. But darlings, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow for the first haul of the autumn edit. I really hope you enjoy it. Any video requests, please let me know down below. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a 
thumbs up if you're excited for the rest of the Fashion Mumbler autumn edit. Darlings, thank you so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.